Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping, and we're in the motorhome on the drive. <laughs> it's a very sunny day out there, it's quite warm. And uh, we're looking forward, so looking forward to another trip uh, this weekend. So it's a busy week, we're going to crack on and do the little collaboration video that we regularly do with the guys from the Vanners collaboration. Now it is, um, there is a playlist and there'll be a link right at the end of the video and also a link in the description below. And before we start I just want to say um, a special hello to Mike and Kirsty who lost their little dog Rosie last week. They're not in the collaboration this week um, but we do wish them well and we know what it's like to lose one in the family. Um, do pop along and see Mike and Kirsty on their Frenchies Motorhomies YouTube channel. It's a lovely channel and they uh, do lots of uh, trips in their Bolero just like ours. So we wish you well. Quickly moving on then, we're going to do uh, our top five, maybe one or two more, we don't know, of space saving things in our motorhome. It applies to both motorhomes and caravanners, so um, stick with us. And uh, what's the first one going to be, Sue? The dog crate. The dog crate, okay. Which I'm going to demonstrate. Right, well I'll swing the camera around and I'll show, show you um, what Sue's got with the dog crate for travelling. We, we had to measure to make sure we could fit this crate in the motorhome so it fits perfectly behind the driver's seat and next to the passenger seat so it fits in there perfectly. Um, it's pretty lightweight, it's like a canvas with, um, with the steel poles um, and both dogs fit comfortably in here and there's enough room for them to move about for long journeys. It's very easy to, to access to the dogs you've got a, a top bit here that you can actually unzip um, so when we had it in the boot of the car you could put them in from the top and you the normal route that they go through as I usually say in your crate and they'll pop in here and then they'll stick their heads out here and they get a treat so this is very easily just zip back up again now to collapse it there's there's pop there's two bits here and all you have to do is to go like that and these poles actually fold inside and then to fold it down it's really easy you just push one side there one side there and we've got clips that clip over if we've got that in the right position you can clip it shut so it doesn't pop open I might, have I got that right way round? Yeah. Yeah. And then sewing the other side. And then it fits neatly underneath our bed. What we do, we take the table out that, that goes underneath our bed and we just put that in there underneath our bed so it's perfect. So it's out of the way. And we can also put it in the car if we need to take the dogs to the vet. So, and there's carry handles as well. And there's little pockets so you can you can have it outside if you want to if the dogs want to sleep in it outside you could easily take it outside for them um, you've got little pockets here for storing things there's ventilation so the dogs don't overheat which is good and not a pocket this side and then you've got the carry handles at the top that you can actually secure together so we're really pleased with it The next space saving things that we have are packable coats. These are really brilliant. Uh, this is a fully waterproof regatta little Mac. If you're going out for the day, you can just pop it in your backpack so you don't have to worry about getting wet. Um, or you can put it on a on your belt tab if you want to. We've got his and hers. And that very easily just pops into this little bag and folds up. I'm really pleased, really pleased with it because it's got a nice hood that you can you can adjust. So that's that one. I've I've also got a down jacket that goes into a bag which I've used and I've worn and worn and worn. Would be about that. And this is another one, a crack hoppers compressor light pack away one. There's a slightly longer one. It is a little bit more difficult to get in the bag. I have to admit, it's a bit of a tight fit. But we've got these and, and they're really good as well. 
It's a crack hop this one um, with the hood. So that can all go into a bag. So they're great, you can put in the boot of the car if you want to, or as I say, in your backpack. So if you're going out for the day, you're not going to get cold or wet. I'm going to show you our third item of uh, space saving, and it's a little stool come table. And it's something that we've had for, well, a long time. I can't remember when we purchased this, but it's made by Camper, and uh, it doubles up as a, se a seat or a little occasional table. So here we are. Um, it's made by Camper, as I say. It's just got one piece of fabric, and then it's aluminium. So it is really, really light. And uh, you may have seen uh, different manufacturers of these. We chose the uh, the Camper one, um, purely because it, it just met our our needs and uh, you can quite easily sit on that all I need is a beer or if you want to use your other seats and you want an occasional table outside outside the motorhome the lid is just here and that is a uh, it's got a little carry handle and that's a uh, a little square top which fits on like so. Now I wouldn't recommend that you sit on it like that but certainly that's good enough to hold drinks or uh, you know your nibbles when you're sitting there outside um, resting your book on anything like that really useful and it's so easy to pack away as long as you've got a space uh, put it under the bed don't we under the bed or somewhere like that you can lay those two flat like so and that's that's pretty space saving to me. Very useful little thing. And when it comes to camping chairs, um, there's so many available out there that every camping shop you go to seems to have a different set of camping chairs to buy. Um, thinking of comfort, you might want a relaxing chair or you might want something that to uh, re recline. Um, functionally, we like the little director's chairs and we've had different director's chairs over the years and they're great for pulling up to a table or sitting out and having a chat, um, but not so much for the sunbathing. These ones we chose when we um, bought the motorhome, they're not the lightest for caravanners. Um, I think if I was a caravanner I would choose something made of aluminium. These are steel, but the reason we like these was because they folded quite small that way around. Some of the director's chairs can be quite big here but they do they do fold flatter. These ones have got a little bit of a profile as you can see so you can't you need a little bit more space to stack them but they do have a carry handle and they're made by Royal um, and uh, I'll, I'll just open one up. I have to concentrate. Show you demonstrate. Yeah I have to concentrate on this bit. But you pull them out like that and don't, don't forget we're indoors here so it's a little bit of a struggle but um, I just pull this bar here and that snaps into position it comes with a little little tray and the back comes up like that and then you've got the usual place for putting your your mobile phone or whatever you've got your book in the here there's also uh, um, as I say the, oh, the back comes up like this off. and so on um, now the only thing is you can't, when it's in, in the open position, you can't put the table down. So if you've got several of you, um, you can't put the chairs. And there's a little recess in the table for a cup. Yeah, there's a little or cup glass, holder there. Really. Yeah, a little cup holder, which I've spilt many a, uh, a drop of beer in. But um, very nice uh, chairs. We, we like them. They're nice and sturdy, but they're not lightweight. So caravanners, beware on this one. Now what have I got in my bag? This is another space saver. There's something that we had with the, the granddaughters when they were small and we've found another use for it. Just get it out of the bag for you. Now when you've got two little border terriers that like to share your bed with you, this little gadget is quite useful. So what we do, we pull it into a square and it's a portable stair gate really but we find that at night time it, we, we can just if I get it the right way around uh, that's it that way we can just put it in between there and there 
like so, and I uh, can just resize it. Like that. And we've now got a doggy bed <laughs> and our bed, so they don't come and join us in the night. The other thing that we found it useful for is putting across the habitation door. Um, it also keeps them from jumping out of the door if we're setting up or anything like that. Yeah, because so, we don't get a stable door in the motorhome, do you, no like you did in the caravan? In a caravan, no, yeah. so your doggies can escape. Really useful. Um, again, we purchased it online. It wasn't an expensive thing, and it's made of fabric, so it's it's pretty light. Fabric and steel. And it's easy and to two. fold. You have to fold it in half. Because I, I took ages trying to work out how to fold it up. Yeah. <laughs> Once you've got the hang of it, I mean, as you can see, just swing it open and closed. And that goes in back in the bag and then underneath in the bed. So quite a good space over that. Right, so here's the uh, the little healthy griddle made by Quest. Um, it, it's very light. I mean, it, it's um, uh, got a little heating element underneath. And this is the little drip tray here. And you can cook your sausages or your uh, burgers on there. Um, you're probably not suitable for more than two people. And uh, I'll say it's a it's a poor man's uh, ridge monkey really but uh, I think I paid about 25 pounds for this um, at Norwich camping and here's the picture of what it looks like when you've got the food on it yeah my food never looked like that oh have a quick shot of the uh, the new kitchen towel oh, holder um, that was a new purchase this week So that's the end of our video about space saving. Uh, don't forget to watch all the others. I'm going to because I'm looking for some tips for space saving. So um, until next time, we'll see you soon. I wanted to put me, me bowl that collapsed and on it, but it wouldn't let me. You <laughs> might have got a little sneaky preview of it just now. But, uh, yeah. I love my collapsed bowls. Lots of collapse items, pipes. And, and colander. Yeah. yeah. Take care and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.